I'm going to be attempting to make some beet, well, I think it's maybe not vegan, but it's like a dairy-free mac and cheese. And so I've got my carrots and potatoes boiling. And I'm getting ready to use my gluten-free ebos. Excuse the dirty counters. And so far, kind of mix and mashing a couple different recipes I found on Pinterest. But one had said jalapenos, and I'm not sure if I'll use all of this, but that's two jalapenos. And one said milk, but not the other one. And since I use almond milk, that's what I'm using. Olive oil, salt. I'm just going to add some pepper. I can't have garlic, so garlic is out the door. Can't use that. Might use parsley. I haven't decided yet. And this nutritional yeast was something else that I need. Oh, and then one said tapioca starch, but I don't have that, so I'm going to try using my xanthan gum. So we're going to try that, and I will follow up in a minute when I get to the next step. Alright, I'm back. So the carrot potatoes, which it now appears I have too much potato. <laughs> Love it. So I used probably five or, well no, more like six or seven large carrots to about three medium to small potatoes. Still looks like I have too much. I'm trying to just double a batch based on what I saw on that recipe, one of the recipes. But I'm going to go ahead and add in a few items. So I uh, did call for a little bit of olive oil. So I'm just drizzling, oh, I don't know, a tablespoon or two. A uh, little bit of salt, I guess, and I'll just play it by ear afterwards and t just add extra to if it does if it still needs it this is the nutritional yeast which i found in the natural food section and it was in the recipe since i'm doubling it i'm using a cup so i'm just gonna put that on top i like i said i still haven't decided on parsley so i'm gonna hold off until then maybe add some to taste and then i use white pepper rather than black pepper but you could probably use either if you decide to use pepper I'm adding that just to give it a little bit of spice. And uh, about, since I'm doubling it, about four teaspoons of the xanthan gum. And I literally have no idea. I'm not the best cook, so this will be an interesting experiment. So for starters, I'm going to go ahead and instead of um, water, I'm going to add a little bit of milk since most mac and cheese does milk. And I'm using almond. Mine is the unsweetened original. Just gonna estimate a little bit of milk in there and add a little bit more as needed. So, all my ingredients are now in. And I'm gonna go ahead and blend this up. I will be right back. I'm not gonna talk too much. I'm currently blending. Okay, so far, this is what it looks like. I will say this, it definitely needs some more flavor. So I'm going to go ahead and add some jalapenos and probably some more salt. Salt's important and probably more of this uh, white pepper. Let's see. Again, I'm just adding it. I did have to add a little bit more milk a few minutes ago or while it was blending because it was just really thick. So. You can probably either keep it really thick to use as a dip or however or make it thinner so you can use it more for mac and cheese which is what I'm doing okay so lots of salt and I'm gonna add the jalapenos and blend again all right so my gluten-free noodles and I'm not sure if it's gonna be pourable but let's try I added all of the jalapenos so it was two whole jalapenos I mean, this is a large batch, but you can see it's pouring really cool. I also went ahead and threw in some tomatoes because it was very bland. So I think it's going to need to be tweaked a little bit as far as spices go. Mm. I'm going to have to think about it, but it made quite a bit. And since I eat bacon, I decided to throw some bacon in on top and go from there. So that's the final look for now. I might try this again. 
another day and just try to tweak the flavors a little bit. Thanks for uh, checking it out. If you have any questions, let me know. If you have any suggestions, let me know. <laughs> have a good day. So I just wanted to follow up on that recipe and FYI, it was truly disgusting. I ate the bacon and the jalapenos gave it a nice little zing. Probably could use a little more jalapenos, but I'm thinking the nutritional yeast was maybe a little too strong. I don't know. It just had a weird flavor, so it could just need to be tweaked with spices and, and extra things. Uh, overall, it has a great color and looks like mac and cheese. Uh, it's hard to tell, but it is the true mac and cheese color so I guess my carrot to potato ratio was perfect uh, otherwise uh, definitely worth trying out and seeing if you like it and just tweak it to your flavor preferences